Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. I have here a Nintendo 2DS screen, which you may have seen me replace in an earlier video. Um, but my intention now is to delaminate it, for lack of a better word, because I'm curious to see inside to see how it works. And just in case you haven't seen one of these, it's basically the top regular screen, and in the unit it's got a touch screen over the bottom inside a wedge-shaped console. And you can see here on the back you have the ribbon cables that are providing the video uh, feed, I'm pretty sure. And uh, an additional thing here which I think might be the LED backlight, but we're going to discover that. And you can see in the earlier video I've peeled this back a little bit because I wanted to see, just to really confirm, that indeed when you see that inside the Nintendo it really genuinely is a regular TFT screen. Um, but the bit you know I, I hadn't really uh, figured out was whether or not the parts you can't see can be driven through this connector. I, my gut feeling is it probably can. I think whoever makes the screen would probably not be bothered about that and they might as well just add it in. Um, but you know if it's totally custom though maybe maybe they you know did this in a certain way. So I thought let's just keep going with it. It's clearly glass because it's you got a smash here and that's why we changed it in the first place. But we can probably get rid of the outer edge here with our scalpel and I have to say this scalpel has become super blunt. I've been using it for so many things that you shouldn't really use them on. It's become super blunt but I'm not replacing the blade because it's kind of useful. It's almost like a, a super dandy pick, picking tool, you know, just for getting in all these things. Um, but one day I, uh, my luck will run out and that blade will snap off and hopefully not snap off at my face. Okay, so we're getting there. The metal is coming away from that white background. And if you've ever dismantled any kind of TFT screen, you'll notice that there are loads of layers in there, loads of layers of material. And the reason you've got those materials in there, I'll just do this edge, is because you're trying to get an even spread of that backlight mainly. Oh, and it's feeling a little bit crunchy as I did that. Um, because of course, you imagine you've got that LED backlight you're not losing fluorescent tubes anymore in these. There we go. Um, and you want all of the, uh, I guess you want all the photons to line up. You want it evenly bright across the whole face. So when this, the user sees it, it doesn't have any of these, you know, footlight effects like you see in the aftermarket screens when you mod your, your Game Boy. So we're going to just, I think we'll start on the back, shall we? That seems, everyone would start on the front. That's more traditional. You can see you've got a plain white reflective layer so that's I think that's the ultimate layer everything's hitting that so if you imagine light bouncing in and out of these surfaces it's hitting that white and it's going forward you want everything out there it's a bit like the reflector in your garden light but look down here that is indeed the LED strip I'm going to zoom in and we'll put this nice and steady and you can see there's two wires here coming through see the two little wires through a resistor to limit the current and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six LEDs. Can you believe this entire screen is illuminated so evenly when you run it? And it's by those, those LEDs. But what I can see here, which is also super interesting, is that if I put that there, yes, indeed. Now I'm going to try to hold it up to the light in different angles. Yeah, I think you can just about see that. You can actually see there the shape of that bottom screen so that really is being treated in a special way and I wonder why that is that is absolutely fascinating this area here is somewhat shiny and this area here is matte so maybe they're optimizing it saying we don't need light coming out here so don't bother so this plastic you know these properties are stopping it refracting in that way and that's going straight through. I suspect these LEDs make this glow really white, this stuff. Right, Oof. who would have thought it was so exciting? I'm so glad I didn't just throw this in the bin. Now, you can see I, 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 I hoofed it out a little bit, carefully-ish, 
on these things because when you start dismantling these and by the way this is the same if you get LED lighting for your ceiling so I've done undone one of my ceiling lights or the back office bench light is our LED lightings they also have these layers so they're very much like screens but without the TFT and holding this in my hand it's really apparent that difference in the finish that is super duper fantastic. So I'm going to leave that there. And so we've got another layer here. I, I might just pile them up on the way I take them off. So that's a, an opaque layer there. Now we have what way will be... Oh, oh my gosh, I scratched it. So there's another... Oof, look at that, it's a lens. And I scraped it ever so slightly, but this is like a frenal lens. Ooh, again designed to shape that light, bend it in the right way, and counteract any any sort of visual um, issues, you know, uh, in, in terms of like the, uh, the things not lining up correctly. But that is absolutely fascinating. That would have come off that way round. Um, I don't think it's polarized, it's probably not. It's just a standard lens. Look at that is phenomenal. That is absolutely amazing. And now you can start to see, and it's it's a lot clearer to me um, looking at it. This is the liquid crystal component of the screen, and boy, is it smashed! Now, when the uh, DS had the two DS had some power, um, it was partially working, but you can literally see. I'm just taking it out because, boy, oh boy, you definitely can see how this is constructed now. Um, you can see the liquid crystals actually the liquid moving around this in person but I'm just going to try to shine a light, shine a light on the subject um, because we might be able to see and again it's difficult on camera because the camera is trying to compensate you darn camera I'm going to have to arrange a better way of showing you this but I'll, I'll describe it to you I'll describe it to you the screen itself has the top TFT and there's a black bezel here and then underneath I can actually see the bottom screen is that inner portion. It literally is that part there. The, the, the rest around it is actually black even in this glass substrate. So I'm getting glass, black around the edge and black through here. So these really aren't uh, regular TFT screens. They're obviously just manufactured that way because it's easier to, but this is treated, the matrix itself is probably, um, is definitely treated as two, two separate regions. So that is absolutely fascinating. I'll see if there's any way I can show you that. It's actually super hard to find anything that's bright enough and portable enough to show you this. But I think I've got it, Pat. So this is a video camera light. So if I shine that, you can see how bright it is. It's set to full full whack. Um, interestingly enough, look, you can see the effect of these different lenses. I'm almost tempted. Look at this. We can emulate the uh, screen itself, can't we, by applying all these different layers. Um, wow. My eyes are kind of blinded, though, from looking at it. And my camera is going to be messing with its aperture to try to adjust this. But just look here though. So you can see the top screen. You can see that edge there. You see the bezel I was talking about. It's there. And then you can see this thicker black band here in the middle. And I'm, I'm kind of pushing on it to see if we can kind of get an effect so you can see where it begins and ends. And then you can see on the bottom screen you've got this thicker border here on each side. Just about. Maybe just about. And that's how it is. And what's interesting, you could see really how much light it must take to get these screens to do anything. So clearly their default setting in the crystals is off. You know, where it's just showing blackness. It, when you start applying power, it will be twisting those round to let light through. We've got this far. We might as well take it to a few, a few nev other levels. We've got a few levels to go. The first one is we can see if we can remove the polarizer from this, and um, as it involves cutting glass, <laughs> cutting along glass, broken glass with a scalpel. It might be a bit dangerous, so I might give up on this one. But let's see. I think I think I can get it. Let me just see if I can get that edge. And don't do this at home because one slip and you've slit your fingers off. Um, I would like to uh, say that I'm skilled in these operations. 
but I'm not going to because I'm not. Um, but I have managed to do them a few times without wounding myself, so I guess that makes me as skilled as you need to be. And we'll probably get a nice good look. Ah, yeah, we will. We're going to get a nice good look at that LCD part if it hangs together once we get this off. This is probably all that keeps those. Ah, no, 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 no. We didn't want that. We definitely didn't want that. And all of our LCD crystal goodness is pouring out. Stay back. Oh, no. No. I can assure you, though, I'll have to assure you that it was very clear and we, we might still get there. Should be wearing safety glasses. I'm going to put this on just to keep the glass parts all contained. Oh, I'll just get rid of this last piece. Oh, oh no, it's firing, firing glass all over me. Into my soup. Ah, there we go. Now, if I can take this off very gently, he said, and then didn't. Um, bum. <laughs> okay. Uh, we might have to piece this together ever so slightly. Um, or... Just take my word for it that you can see there. You see that border there? It, it, is, it is ingrained into this. The actual conductors for the TFT are indeed in the shape of those two screens. Okay, it's, um, it is what we thought it was. And if I hold it up to the light again, you can see clearly those um, two screens. And that liquid in there, look, that liquid is liquid crystal. Ooh, magical. Oh, there's something. We're at 15 volts. Look at that. That's amazing. And you can actually see. Do you remember there was those different colors? It almost looks like a shadow. In fact, it's hard to see when you lift it up off the bench. Let's see if some of its own materials... Oh, look, that shows you. Look at that. Get those internal reflections going. And there you go. Fantastic. I'm guessing the more aligned I manage to get that, the neater the appearance will be. But you can definitely see... Um, you can definitely see that there. That in the light lighting, I'm just taking a photo because I, you know, I, I'm kind of scared it's going to blow up. I really wanted to keep keep this, and I put the voltage up, but I'm hitting my current limit now. Um, although to be honest, it doesn't draw much. It's not drawing much current at 15 volts, mm. but as I I kind of upped it there to about 16, and it's starting to run away. I'm not really sure how hot these are driven generally. Um, you know, you can imagine you've got a lot of layers to go through when you've got a TFT screen. I, I'm going to try holding it up so you can get a little look. Um, and then you'd have that polarizer on it. And of course, look, you can see the effect. Or can you? Um, you probably can't see the effect. But as I turn the polarizer, it is changing the color there. But Groovy! Right, well, I think, you know, you've heard the the old phrases and sayings about flogging a dead horse. I think this horse is probably well and truly flogged. Um, I was going to bin everything, but I kind of want to keep this piece now. And then I think if I'm going to keep this piece, do I need to keep some of these? I mean, oh, while we're here, come on, what do you think? While we're here, should we just put on some of these things? See what that looks like and see what that looks like. Hmm. Hard to tell if it's making any difference at all, but I'm sure it makes a difference again in removing those footlight effects from your LCD screen. So I'm hoping, of course, that this has been of some interest to you to see all of these components laid bare for your delectation in a smorgasbord of teardown activity. Um, if you haven't, please consider joining my Discord channel and come and chat to me. And of course, if you'd like to buy me a coffee to keep me up late like now, 
um, please go to my Patreon page. Links down below and uh, I will definitely appreciate that. Um, and just before I sign off, I'd like to show you what's coming up on a future video, probably the next video after this. And this is the ESP8266 weather station and it says manual included. In fact, um, there is no manual as far as I can tell in here unless it's a very tiny manual or it's included on an SD card, which I'm pretty sure it isn't. Or perhaps the manual is on the unit and when you plug it in on the USB, it's there. Um, actually, I can assure you this probably isn't my next video because my next video is about a radar um, occupancy sensor that I've now finished and I'm going to show you that as soon as I clear this desk.